What's going on you guys? There is a truck update on the 97 GMC Sierra Z71. I'm going to start off at the front end because there's another a, a big change that has been made that I did last month. I went ahead and bought another pair of aftermarket headlights as you can see. I'm going to put the camera real close so you guys can look at the difference. As, as you see, I don't have a missed pair of, I mean, I'm a mismatched set of headlights on, on this truck anymore. I've changed that out since uh, back in June because I went ahead and bought a, uh, another pair of headlights since I've been working extra hours. And eventually, you can tell the headlights match the park lights and the um, side reflectors known as the, the corner lights. Let's see what else has been changed. Would still need, would still be, actually still need, what this truck still needs, cosmetically, on the body. It's still in need of a new paint job, because the clear coat is like, pretty bad, on this truck, because back then General Motors didn't really do a good job painting these trucks. It's the paint they pretty much used back in the 90s. And I want to still get this bed um, rhino lined. And once I get this truck repainted, I'm going to get it the same color. I'm not doing no color change. It's going to stay white. And I want to get, I still want to get these Z71 decals replaced. I want to get the same ones. Trying to keep the truck a little bit of a, have it sort of half of the original look. And I want to get these mirrors, re, get these mirrors painted white instead of having them black just to make it match the um, truck and as you can tell the um, tell part of it's all faded and you can tell this part was all glossy and this is all faded if you can see it that well through the camera and I definitely still need to get that roof fixed if you guys could see it before it gets worse and I still gonna change out this door handle that's pretty much cracked from back in New Year's. It still opens the door, you can tell it's pretty loose. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm gonna change out both of them. I'm gonna do that sometime in the fall. And I'm gonna get this truck repainted once I um, get my driver's license, my full driver's license. When I, uh, I'm pretty much toward the end of practice driving. I'm still in that last stage. I'm able to do more stuff with my driving. I still, because right now I'm still in that permit. And as you see, I've made some big changes to the front doors, which is I've replaced the front speakers. I put some Pioneers. You probably see it a little bit through them grills from one angle but yeah I even um, replaced the head unit remember I had that Kenwood head unit in there I officially replaced it with a Pioneer which has the USB which is something that I like and uh and next month I'm gonna work on changing out those rear speakers once I when I um, change, put in the Pioneer head unit those rear speakers stop working because the Pioneer head unit gives, has like too much power to, the, to these um, rear speak, OEM speakers. They were working for like about a minute. And I even did some work to the, when I changed out the speaker on this door, I had to um, make it where it, fix it so it don't mess up my power window because uh, for a week, I had um, put four screws to mount it in, and I had one screw that I didn't really need, so I took it out because it was stopping my um, power window from going up and down. And the good thing is with this Pioneer head unit, you know, I got a remote that goes with it, which is pretty neat for the, like, the passengers in the back. But yeah, I plan on doing a rear speaker removal video guide for this extended cabs at the third door for the um, 96 to 98 Chevy pickups 
and the GMC Sierras. Basically same thing, duh, duh. And I still got some work done that needs to be done under the hood because I got to get that temperature gauge fixed and the uh, service engine soon like taken care of. I even replaced the battery and plus I even fixed the hood made it would be easier to come open with no problem sprayed a little WD-40 on it and back in May I've actually replaced my battery went to AutoZone and um, got a Duralast battery and everything still looks clean under the hood I'm almost near an oil change in this truck but yeah I probably need to, to get those relays taken care of to see why my, my, if that could be the problem with the temperature gauge but I'm gonna let the guy look at because I got a, a mechanic that, that also helped put this motor in the truck because I'm definitely talking to a different mechanic which probably knows what it could be. I just got whenever I'm able to bring this truck to work, I can uh, get him to look at it and see why the um, temperature gauge and why that engine light is on. But that's an update video for now. Let me go ahead and close this hood and give y'all a nice little view of the truck. I know some of you may like to see a, a, a good look of the um, truck. You could tell in a certain distance it looked good, but yeah. That's my update video for now and hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.